Hi, I'm Bennett from Cosmnet, and I'm sitting here with Dr. Arthur Volker all the way out in New York. How are you doing today, Artie? I'm doing very well, Bennett. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, uh, thank you, first of all, for joining us. And I want to let everybody know that Dr. Volker is going to share some of his tips on how he uses opaquers in cervical restorations. Thank you, Bennett. Uh, so there's a lot of applications that we can use um, these beautiful materials from Cosmodent. And one of the ones that I think is, is maybe under underappreciated, if you will, is in the use of using it to restore cervical composites. Right? Because when we have cervical composites, and if they're appropriate and, and the, their patient is periodontally sound, a lot, often we can use direct composite as a predictable means to address uh, cervical lesions, especially in cases of non-carious. So in this picture I'm showing here, this is a case where a few were restored using a direct composite. And this one over here, you can see it has some of the advantages uh, of what we want to see in a successful outcome. However, the issue sometimes arises with this, and I've had this many times, and this is a case that I've done, and, and you can see some of the problems. Patient comes in and has some sensitivity, so we're going to now do direct composite on them. Here's what the patient looked like when they came in, and this is the immediate post-op. And right away, you can see two things that I think are the by far the biggest issues with cervical restorations, right? And that's namely seeing obvious transition zones, and secondly, seeing a very gray look to the cervical area. Now, the thing we have to keep in mind is we know that cervical areas are very, very thin in enamel content. So a lot of the dentin or a lot of the color saturation will show through. So even though we think we're replacing a very thin part of composite, of rather of the uh, root structure with composite, instead of using a translucent composite or a highly translucent composite, I would suggest the following method for some predictability. And that's starting with here. And so the first thing we see in these class uh, five restorations is that I like to do is place a cord. Then once the cord is placed and I etch and bond the tooth, and sometimes I'll place a liner, and in this case I use an RMGI um, as a liner, the next thing to address is right here, and that's the transition zone. That's the transition zone from the extent of the lesion to where you want to blend it. The problem here is if I use a translucent composite, it's going to become very visible. And secondly, if I use a translucent composite, it may look very, very gray. So one of the best ways to help a situation like this is absolutely with something like creative color opaque. Uh, and what this will do, and this is a flowable liquid opaque available from Cosmodent, is it will add some opacity to the cervical region. So it'll make it look more like natural tooth. But even more importantly in this way, what it's going to do, it's going to help us mask the transition between your composite, between the tooth, and between that junction area that we prepped a little bit just so that we can blend the materials. So what you would do is you would take your creative color opaquer on a number one brush and place it over the transition line. And you will also place it as cervical as you can. This will also help uh, subsequent layers of composite to adhere. Place it over, make sure that you've uh, sufficiently opaqued it and then what I want to talk about in part two is once you've placed your composite, once you've cured everything, what is the best way we can use the, the fantastic properties of a microfill composite to best get the outcome that we want? All right, good. Great. Thank you very much. That was a very informative little tip, Dr. Volker, and I hope that helps everyone out. So this is Bennett from Cosmodent. Dr. Volker, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Bennett. And we'll see you soon. Bye now.